This presentation will discuss Local Law 87, Energy Audits and Retro Commissioning. We are Associated Renewable, a leading energy consulting and carbon management company. What is Local Law 87? Local Law 87 requires building owners to perform an ASHRAE Level 2 audit and retro commissioning every 10 years within four years of the required reporting date. The results will be submitted in the form of an energy efficiency report and reporting will begin in 2013. Commercial buildings in the U.S. consume 39% of America's energy and 68% of its electricity. They emit 38% of the carbon dioxide found in the air. Studies show that lighting, HVAC, and office equipment consume the most energy in a typical building. So Local Law 87 aims to identify some of these sources of energy use and help buildings to save energy. Local Law 87 applies to buildings over 50,000 square feet, two or more buildings on the same tax lot number that together exceed 100,000 square feet, and two or more buildings held in the condominium form of ownership that are covered by the same board of managers and together exceed 100,000 square feet. There are several exemptions to Local Law 87, however. Buildings that have received an EPA Energy Star rating two out of three years immediately prior to an audit due date, or buildings that have received LEED EB certification within four years of the audit due date are exempt from Local Law 87 compliance. The last digit of a building's block number determines when the energy efficiency report must be submitted. As you can see, some buildings will have the energy efficiency report due as soon as 2013, whereas other buildings will have until 2022. This schedule repeats every 10 years, however, so buildings with a report due in 2013 will have another report due in 2023. The energy efficiency report will include the results of the energy audit, as well as any retro commissioning measures that were implemented. What is an energy audit? An energy audit is a study of a building's base energy systems. It looks at lighting, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC equipment, controls, air compressors, water consuming equipment, and anything else that uses energy. The objective of an energy audit is to identify energy conservation measures, or ECMs, that will allow a facility to reduce its energy use. There are three levels of energy audits. An ASHRAE Level 1 audit is a simple walkthrough analysis. It provides a very high level picture of energy use in a building and will include no cost analysis. An ASHRAE Level 2 audit is an energy survey and analysis that will include a breakdown of energy sources and their end use. It will outline low to no cost measures that can be implemented to save energy. An ASHRAE Level 3 audit is a detailed analysis of capital intensive modifications. It will provide financial information regarding energy use and savings opportunities at an investment grade level. This will provide a granular study of energy use and a very detailed picture of where the energy goes in a building. All of these audits must be performed by a certified professional and recall that only ASHRAE Level 2 and ASHRAE Level 3 audits are applicable for Local Law 87 compliance. What is retro commissioning? Retro commissioning is the implementation of low-cost operational and maintenance measures to optimize existing systems in the building. It will not involve capital-intensive projects such as equipment replacement. Retro commissioning focuses on mechanical equipment, lighting, and controls. And again, it will only look at existing systems and how to optimize them. This will often include cleaning, tuning, calibration, verification of proper valve operation, and other simple measures that can save energy. Retro commissioning will begin with a study of past utility bills and interviews with facility personnel. This will be followed by execution and analysis of diagnostic monitoring and functional tests of building systems. Then the building systems will be retested and remonitored to fine-tune improvements. That way, any occupational problems that may have occurred after the first round of testing can be remedied.
Based on the scope of your audit, different cost savings can be realized. Basic low to no cost operational changes, such as behavior modification or HVAC maintenance, can save 5 to 15 percent on a facility's energy bill. Larger capital cost programs with an ROI of two to three years can save 10 to 15 percent on a facility's energy bill. A lighting retrofit is a great example of something that falls in this category. It's a, it's a little bit larger capital investment that can, a, a significant payback can be seen in a reasonable amount of time. Major capital cost programs can reduce a facility's energy bill by 15 to 20 percent. This will often include larger projects such as equipment replacement, a replacement of boilers or chillers, or other such large capital intensive programs. These changes will require more money, but the savings that are realized from the capital cost programs and the low to no cost operational changes can often be used to invest capital in, into some of these programs. There are several rebates, grants, and incentives available to help building owners comply with Local Law 87. The NYSERDA Consolidated Funding Application will provide an up to 50% rebate on qualified energy audits. The Lockheed Martin Energy Efficiency Program, which does require pre-approval, will provide up to 50%, up to $67,000 for an ASHRAE Level 3 audit. Note that this is one level higher than required by Local Law 87 and will also provide up to 35% of the cost of a retrofit project. Here's a case study of a 500,000 square foot office building that completed an ASHRAE Level 2 audit. As you can see, the cost of the audit was $8,800, but after those 50% incentives was reduced to $4,400. The audit identified $186,605 of savings ending up in a net savings of $182,205. So as you can see, this audit was a particularly good investment for this building. In summary, energy auditing is a detailed energy and financial analysis of all the major energy systems in the building, which ultimately, ultimately results in an array of proposed energy efficiency solutions. The cost and savings will be calculated for each energy conservation measure identified by the audit. Retro commissioning is the enhancement and optimization of present energy utilizing building systems to minimize operational costs. If you have any specific questions or would like a copy of this presentation, please feel free to contact us at info at Thank you.